So you want to animate in a sprite or Libra sprite, depending on what you got installed. Hey guys, welcome back to this bike. I'm Kai and today we're back once again, taking a look at how to make a little animated like emote or something in, in pixel art format, essentially. So we haven't done a lot of pixel art animation recently on the channel. So I figure it's about time we get back into it. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get started. I have the timeline open down at the bottom here by hitting tab. You can open it up. Uh, there you go. Um, as you can see, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have a nice, I'm in a 16 by 16 canvas, by the way. Um, we're gonna make sure we have a nice base color. We're just gonna start off just with a regular color. We'll change the colors later on. Um, but for now, we just need to make one frame and then we'll go ahead and we'll anim animate it uh, in, in, a little, in a little bit. So. Um, the first thing I want to do is we'll get down a nice little base. Um, so I'm thinking about something maybe like, like, hmm, like Pepe D or something, some kind of animation similar to that. So let's go ahead and just get a base down. We'll go ahead and just uh, kind of put something down like this, um, and we'll kind of go up a little bit, maybe to the uh, to the side, like like that. Yeah, there we go. Maybe over one more time, and then we'll kind of go up and do like some eyes. Uh, there you go. Something like that, maybe, I'm thinking. Um, looks pretty good. I like it. We'll go ahead and get the arms down. So I want to make sure that the arms are uh, similar. So we'll go ahead and just uh, kind of put the arms going out like that on that side. And then this one will go up like that. <clears throat> there we go. Looks good. Nice. So uh, I think I might want to make them a little, bit, a little bit taller. So we'll go ahead and hit M to may open up the selection uh, tool and just drag, uh, click and drag a box over top of everything. Hold down shift if you need to uh, select multiple different times like that. Um, and then just drag it up by one, hit select, deselect, and then we'll go ahead and hit B to go back to the brush tool and just move it back up uh, by one. Actually, I took that back, I like it better before. <laughs> um, all right, cool, so we'll just leave it the way that it is. Um, and now we can go ahead and do the colors before we start animating things, of course. So let's go ahead and give this guy a nice little green color. Um, something like, uh, actually, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do like a skin tone, actually. Um, instead of a green, do like, uh, something like, uh, something like that. Yeah, sure. Cool. Nice. And then we'll have arms and we'll color those arms in like that, of course. Um, and then we will give them a shirt, the shirt, maybe, maybe like a blue shirt, something like that. And we'll pull it across. Uh, there you go. Nice. Okay. Maybe we'll, that one little color on there. That might be a weird kind of blue, actually. Maybe make it a little bit more blue. There we go. That's probably better. All right, cool. Now, <clears throat> with that done, let's go ahead and do the rest of the colors here. So, um, actually, because it's not a frog, we'll go ahead and fill all that in like this. And then we'll go ahead and, and, and do the rest of the uh, the color afterwards. It's a little too, like, there we go. Change the color a little bit. There we go. That looks better. All right, cool. And I want to do maybe, like, hair as well. That might be kind of funny. So, let's do hair. Put some hair on this guy right here. Like some darker colored hair, almost black hair. There we go. Yeah, there you go. There we go. That looks good. Actually, I dropped this by hitting I and just and and pull that over by one, um, like that. There you go. Looks good. Okay, nice. Um, so then after that, I think I want to do the eyes, of course. So we'll make the eyes, um, white, like uh, like this. And I think we might have to go all the way across, which is a little unfortunate, but actually, wait, maybe we can get away with doing something like, eh, that's kind of weird. Maybe we'll do like this and put the break there. Nah, that's weird. We'll have to go all the way across or just have a singular eye right there. Um, yeah, maybe, and then we'll just do the black. Like that, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Sweet. Um, and we'll make that the gray color instead of a solid black because it looks kind of strange. Um, all right, cool. Um, I'm kind of worried about the solid black color, so we'll maybe make it a little bit lighter, like uh, like this. Maybe it's like a, a grayer color. There you go. Nice. Okay, cool. So with this done, um, I also maybe want a mouth as well really quickly, so we'll just drop, drop the color down, uh, de uh, saturate it a little bit, and then we'll just put like a mouth like that maybe yeah sure why not cool <clears throat> all right nice um let's go ahead and add some new frames by hitting actually we'll move it to the to the place where i want it to be at which is about in the center which is right there um yeah cool 
move it down like one yeah there you go so select deselect and then hit frame over here and then we can add some new frames so the first thing that i want to do is i want to make it look like he's kind of uh, uh switching back and forth between his arms so let's go ahead and really quickly <clears throat> let's go ahead and grab uh everything except for his body so we'll delete the arms uh delete both of those all of those and then we'll go ahead and flip him um and we'll add another uh keyframe in between this so don't worry but i want to go ahead and fl flip him first so we'll go to i believe it is do, 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 sprite uh oh, no camera size oh it's edit edit flip horizontal there you go so now you can see he flips around but i don't want him to do that in one frame so we'll go back to one hit this little plus button again so then i'll add a frame in between that so we have some ability to move some, thing, some things around so um for his uh for his arms i want to go ahead and hit the e button to go ahead and erase uh some things here but i want to move this down first so actually we'll hit uh we'll hit m to grab that and then just kind of move it like that down like that yeah there you go and we'll also go ahead and make so make it so that this arm kind of goes up a little bit like that um but i want this arm to extend upwards maybe yeah maybe so they're, actually they're even now that's kind of that's kind of crazy all right cool so we'll do that and then we will uh we'll make sure that we have the next frame he is flipped and we'll turn on onion skinning by hitting this little button right there um, so we can see the arms again um, and we will go ahead and grab the shirt color put it about right there and then grab the uh, skin color and we'll do something like that and pull his arm up and then this side it'll be exactly the opposite of the other one which was um, just one two and then two up all right cool um, and then we'll pull this like that and then like that there you go so now uh it is basically fully flipped but i think the issue that i'm having with it is uh, let's play this real quick let's play it's gonna be too fast as well there you go so the issue that we're having is he's not uh he's not really doing anything after this section so i want him to uh, have another frame where he's kind of like this but uh his arm does what it does on this side but it's just flipped so we could actually go ahead and just flip this if we really wanted to so let's go ahead and actually delete that grab the second uh frame here hit this little plus button and then uh, the, on the third frame, click the yellow outline and then just click and drag it behind the fourth one. So now it's exactly the same as the second keyframe, but we need to be flipped. So let's go ahead and go to edit, flip horizontal. There you go. So now you can see um, it basically does like this. There you go. That was pretty cool. But the issue is I want him to bounce as well. So we actually need to go ahead and go up to constant frame rate as well because it's a little too um, it's a little too uh, fast. So we'll change this. I believe it is the more frames in between uh so uh 120 we make we make this a little slower let's actually do it more so uh 200 why not sure there you go cool nice so uh what i want to do with this now is i, I kind of want to actually flip the direction uh his eyes look right before he um he, he, he goes that way. So let's go ahead and select his eyes by hitting, hitting, hitting M and then just selecting his entire eye section and then go to flip horizontal. Um, and then the same thing for the fourth frame. So we'll have him do like this, edit, flip horizontal. So then when we hit select, deselect and play this, there you go. There you go, nice, cool. Um, and then we can also go ahead and make him bounce like I said I wanted to. So we'll uh, pull him up here, just up one there. And I think that's maybe, that's all we need, maybe all we need to do. Um, maybe on the fourth one too. Maybe every other frame. See what that's like. Play this. Yeah, sure. There's something weird with his arms though that I don't necessarily like. I don't like how they're both the same um, thing. So we'll go ahead and fix that by deleting that one pixel. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Nice. All right, sweet. So uh, the I think actually wait, there's an issue because it looks like it doesn't really move because it's the same length. So we'll actually go ahead and pull it out as far as it can go like that to the edge oh yeah i like that that's nice okay cool 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 um maybe we can pull it in a little bit as well because it looks like it's kind of um it looks kind of strange though hmm maybe down maybe we'll pull it down oh maybe that's the maybe that's maybe that's the way to do it all right let's do that actually um okay so on both of the ones where his arm is touching the frame which is this one and this one so pull that back we will go ahead and pull his arm 
in like that and see what it looks like just for a second this is just a lot of uh you know trial and error as always um yeah i kind of like that that's cool yeah nice 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 i kind of want to add in uh one actually two more frames here so we can just duplicate it and move it over so right after the first frame, hit this little plus button, and I want to add in another frame where he kind of moves his arms to fit more of what this fr next frame is going to look like. Um, also, we can make this blue. I just I forgot about that. Make that blue so it doesn't look weird. Um, there you go. Um, I want to kind of maybe move his arm up like that, but I don't want that piece to also go with it. What's it look like? Um, yeah, and then maybe we can have it so that his head kind of goes backwards a little bit. Like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And we'll pull it back again here. And then it'll go. And then this one can also go backwards. All right, so we have a little bit of a, a thing going on here. Um, and I want this arm to move as well. Okay, let's, what does this look like if we play this now? Okay, he's got a little bit of a sway going on now, so we'll, we'll uh, duplicate this one once again by hitting this little plus button and move this in between five and six, I believe is where it should go. Um, yeah, and then we'll have to, of course, go to edit, flip horizontal, and we play this, you can see that we have, oh yeah, there we go, that's cool, nice. So it's a little bit different, uh, I like it, I think it looks really cool. I do wanna up the f constant frame rate again now because we've done that, so maybe we'll go to 150 instead of 200. Um, there we go, yeah. There you go. So that's like a little custom little uh, <laughs> animated uh, animated pixel art like emote. That's really cool. I really enjoy that. That's very nice. Now there's of course a lot of different other things we can do with it as well. Uh, there is one thing that I that I do want to do is I want to extend his hair, make it look like his hair is kind of moving. So we'll pull this out like that on two, and then have it come back in. Um, yeah, and then we'll do the same thing on this one. We'll, oop, that's not the right button. We'll erase his hair there, and we'll pull his hair backwards like that. Um, and then it'll come out like that, maybe. Maybe the other, this frame one here is right here is too much, um, perhaps. All right, cool. Pull out like that, and then smack back to um, hair kind of whooshing in the wind a little bit. Um... Yeah, maybe we'll do him. Maybe we'll make him go back even further right here so I can pull his hair out even more. Like this. Yeah, there we go. That was cool. It was like he has like his hair is moving now, which is uh which is very uh which is very neato. Um so yeah, that's it. I think that is gonna be it for today's uh tutorial, animation tutorial. Hope you guys and girls enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.